talk to you today about the topic of your session today, challenge, creativity, change. I want to start with a story. One day a czar from Russia was walking through the park and he noticed a sentry standing next to what appeared to be a clump of dead grass. He was really surprised and he went up to the sentry and said, what are you doing here? He says, these are my orders, sir. Shocked, he said, well, why are you here? Well, you have to ask my commandant. Well, he went to the captain of the guard. He said, why is that guy standing there next to a bunch of dead grass? He said, those are standing orders. Those always have been the orders. He was surprised. He and his aide decided to do some research. So they went off and they found out that in the time of Catherine the Great, rose bushes were planted in that particular park. And a sentry was ordered to stand there to protect the rose bushes from people trampling. Unfortunately, the rose bushes had died many years ago, but no one had ever countermanded that order to remove the sentry. I want to ask you today, what's happening in your life? What traditions do you have that are useless, that you're doing nothing with? Why are you doing what you do every day? We are stuck in a realm in which we repeat and do the same thing over and over every day. I come from an industry in which tradition is rich, and we live by consistency. Okay, some of you heard that in accounting class. <laughs> we would go out to these engagements, audits, and invariably there'd be a new person on the engagement, and they would run across something they didn't know what to do with, and they would go to the supervisor and say, what do I do? And they would say, just do the same thing you did last year. As a matter of fact, we were so proud of that, we had an acronym for it. Sally, same as last year. <laughs> just do that. This, of course, flies in the face of challenge, creativity, and change. And what we find is that we are now stuck in this realm where every day around the world you hear people say, just do what they did last year. And what we need to do is ask ourselves, how can we challenge tradition so that we don't end up in that same place? Challenging tradition leads us to the world of change. Change! We've had the Arab Spring. We've had the Occupy Movement. We've even had the magazines named the protester, the person of the year. What do we all want? Change! Well, what I found is that everybody wants change, but nobody wants to change. You change and everything will be fine. I'll just continue to do what I'm doing. <laughs> that doesn't work, my friends. Just think about this. Howard Zinn, a famous philosopher and educator, said, if we see an injustice and we do nothing about it, we are collaborators. Ask yourself, what are you collaborating with right now that is an injustice or wrong? In addition, we have the great saying of Andy Dufresne from one of my favorite movies, Shawshank Redemption. His words were, either get busy living or get busy dying. What are you doing? Are you busy living, or are you just letting life just pass you by? Have we gotten to the point where we're already dead and we just don't know it yet? We have the story of the young boy who was on his way home from school and he decided he was going to take a shortcut and find a new way home. He's going through the woods and he runs across this old mansion and he hears this voice, no, help me. And he goes around to the back of the house and he gets louder, no, help me. And he sees the voices coming from a well, and he goes to the well, and he looks in the well, and he sees a frog. And the frog says, help me, I'm a magic frog. If you get me out of here, and you kiss me, I'll turn into a beautiful princess and serve you for the rest of your life. The boy was excited. He went and he got bushes and branches and things and threw it out in there. And the frog hopped up, hopped up. Finally, he got the frog to the edge, and he grabbed the frog from his pocket. He started going home. And the frog said, hey, did you hear me? I'm a magic frog. If you kiss me, I'll turn into a beautiful princess and serve you for the rest of your life. The boy just kept going. The frog said, hey, I'm espanol. Pardon me, Francais. I'm speaking in Deutsch. The boy said, hey, I heard you. I'm a 10-year-old boy. All I want is a talking frog, not a beautiful princess. <laughs> and what we have in our lives today is we have that magic frog right in our hands, most of us. And all we have to do is kiss it. But most of us are afraid of what's going to happen when we kiss the frog and that change happens. 
The great philosopher and pop music star, Michael Jackson, said these famous words. Change starts with the man in the mirror. So each of us needs to think about what traditions we need to change in our lives. And of course, change in and of itself is awesome, but change goes hand in hand with creativity. What we find is that human beings have been creative since the beginning of time. We've gone from drawings on the cave wall to hieroglyphics to paper to email to texting to tweeting. Creativity is everywhere. The idea is how do we make it work for us? What is it that's going to inspire us to creativity? There's a story of a couple that would go to the state fair every year and the husband just loved aviation. And he saw a biplane there every year. And every year he would go and, and his wife, honey, let's, let's do that. He'd say, well, that's 50 bucks. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. We can't afford that. So this one year they went once again. And he was standing there and he says, Emma, let's, let's do this. She says, hey, that's 50 bucks. We can't afford that. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. The pilot heard him this time and went up and said, hey, I've seen you here before. I'll tell you what, I'll take you both up for 50 bucks look at each other. Hmm. He says, no, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. We can't afford that, Harold. Well, the pilot thinks again. He says, hey, I'll tell you what. I'll take you both up, and I won't charge you anything if you don't say a word. Wow. She looks at him. Let's do it. So they get the biplane. They get the back. He gets in the front, and they take off. They go off down, and the pilot does all sorts of fancy maneuvers, and finally they're taxiing back on the runway, and they're reaching the deportation point. And the pilot says it to the microphone, man, I really thought you guys were going to say something when I did that loop-de-loop. -loop. And Harold says, yeah, I really thought about saying something when the end fell out, but 50 bucks is 50 <laughs> <laughs> So we've got to ask ourselves, what is that creative thing that's going to make us move and start that creativity? Uh, I spent some time as a teacher, and one of the things that I found is that I needed to do something to engage my students. One of the things I did is a couple of different things. One thing we have is that each time we have a test, test day, we give out cookies. Oreo cookies. They love Oreo cookies. Also, when we give back the test, I identify a highest score for male and female, and I have what's known as the grab bag. The winners come up and pick something out of the grab bag. We have people now competing and putting on their Facebook page, I am going to be the grab bag winner. In addition, at the end of the semester, we give out certificates suitable for framing or sticking on the refrigerator or giving to your mother to let her know you did something. We have a valedictorian, a salutatorian, best dressed, best, most likely to succeed. One of my favorites is most, uh, most absent. That person usually isn't there to accept it. <laughs> But ultimately, what I came up with was an idea to have the classroom be creative. And one of the ideas is that creativity will inspire the students. It will create community. It will give them choices. It will allow them to focus on their strengths and ultimately allow them to build self-confidence. One of the things I did was create music videos for them to show me their skill in understanding accounting concepts. So students are offered the opportunity to prepare a music video based upon topics that I've selected. We have a best video award, an actual award, just like an MTV award. We have a best lyrics award and best overall video. And the whole idea is that I wanted to make sure that we could indeed have the idea of creativity. And one of the things I did was I read a a story in the Roper Review, and it talked about the whole idea of creativity. And I got a quote from the uh, lady, Anne Marie Roper. She is a uh, pioneer in creativity and education. This is what she said. There's a gold mine of hidden creativity in each of these students, which can blossom into spiritual, emotional, creative, and scientific growth. We need to build bridges between the inner world of the individual and the outer world of society so that knowledge, thoughts, and emotions can flow freely between them.
and bonds. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. In New York, trade and stock. Looking for a company around the clock. Non-stop when we hear the bell. People move away like we own the block. What's the I got to know by market price buying ratio? Cash not chips, this ain't poker. Change money, I'm a broker. Yo! I'm trading these bonds like bingo. I got that dish come below. Rock and roll, you know. We selling bonds. Yeah! That's where we reppin' on the ride to the top. Interest tax deduction. Stocks and bonds are in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. Thinking about money, no swag, straight bummy on my last bit of nothing. Yes, I'm grinding every day, cause I'm never going broke. Cause a brother found a passion and just hooked up with accounting money. Flowing like a fountain, stack it up just like a mountain. No, I'm never going back, cause failure is not an option. Yeah, I'm only breaking even, even if that's gonna kill me. They ain't gotta be blind, guaranteed they gonna yeah, feel me. Yeah, I got a recipe, first you got the owner's equity. And if you want your assets, then get rid of liabilities. That bit accounts receivable. Bankruptcies inconceivable yep. Cash and supplies Now you in a moving vehicle Woo! You wanna be a boss Then you gotta pay the cost If you wanna make a profit Then you gotta take a Start looking for inspiration Yeah it took me some time I call it dedication Accounting hit me Like a ton of bricks No, no renovation Built it from the ground up I call it innovation Cash accounts receivable You can say that they're related Woo! I could never understate it Look at me I guess I made it Yeah they say that I'm the best But I say I'm underrated my assets depreciate it. I just go ahead and trade it. You might sell it for the low, but no need to understate it. Cause just like David said, yeah, I'm grinding every day. The outcome is income, so I'm going yeah. either way. Get it all in, add it all up. Hey, what you doing? Get it all in, stack it all up. Hey, what we doing? Get it all in. Sometimes, something beautiful happens in business. You don't know how to express yourself, so you just gotta sing. Have you ever been broke? I have, and it stuck. I was just a loser getting beaten every race. Every Till one fine day, I walked into Lee's class. What I learned there put a smile on my face. Never guess where I just came from. I had a test. If I had to describe a feeling, it was the best. When I had the test, man, my mind felt great. And I grabbed a cookie right after I was done Oh hey, didn't see it there Guess what I just did Broke even, start believing All my costs were in reason It was sure nice for us to get out of the red It's the best feeling ever He said To be honest, I'm really quite happy that we made it Really feel that good? Yeah, I'm elated I ain't one to argue with the good thing I'ma tell my wife that good Yeah bro, this just made my life I'm so happy that I learned how to wisely use my money but when I just blew it, it wasn't even funny. Now I'm making money, things are getting better. So I bought this chain and this turtle next. Do 
sweat. So this one's dedicated to them props in the business department of NLC. If you're near or far, whether short or tall, we want to thank you all for the stuff you taught. I just broke even, and now my numbers are black. So if you broke even in the last 30 days, then you're qualified to sing with me. I just broke even, sing with me now. And it felt so good, felt so good. So that's why we met up where my cross was. I want to tell the world. I just broke even, and I'll never go back to the negative place I was in the past.